Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Much love to you all. As you see, I am doing a missing person reading on um, missing Cleveland woman, 27 year old, Raja McQueen. Now, if I pronounce her name incorrectly, um, I will correct it, okay? Um, I mean, no disrespect. And she's a mother of two. This is her picture here. And uh, I'm going to play a quick news clipping because it's nothing like receiving clarity. All right. As far as the background story of this sister who went missing. Um, according to um, the media, she went missing sometime in June, the 20th, anywhere from the 20th to the 27th of June last year. Okay. Of 2021. And um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave her picture Let's see, I'm going to leave a picture right here, and I'm going to play this news clip in real quick, all right? That the Omicron variant yeah. and everything. This is a story, Chris, that we've had in the news recently, and, and it's so sad. A family continues to search for answers when it comes to their loved one. Yeah, this woman's been missing for several months. Our Katie Tursek explains why they refuse to give up on finding her. The hardest part is when the holidays go by. The heartbreaking search has not been easy. It's been seven months to the day since Rachel McQueen vanished Rachel. from Cleveland. We just, we really want her to come home. We really, you know, we just miss her. McQueen's cousin, Alicia Kirkland, begged for her to return home. I spoke with Kirkland back in July. She says something was suspicious about McQueen's disappearance, and she still stands by that to this day. We have enough information I apologize. We have a, a, a picture of what is going on, but there are still things that we don't know. Cleveland Police Detective Kevin Callahan has been investigating McQueen's case. Kirkland and her family begging for a lead in the case. They're being very patient because they want closure. One bad mistake, one mistake, and it can throw things off. I think that the detectives have been and the people who ha have been helping have been extremely careful to not cross those lines because the most important thing for them is a conviction. So is someone responsible for McQueen's disappearance? That's the big question that remains up in the air. In Cleveland, Katie Tursek, 19 News. Now you're 19. All right, family. So this is the information that I have received on this sister who has gone missing. So anyway, family, um, her name is Raja. I think I said Raja earlier. I apologize. It's Raja. Um, they even have her name misprinted right here. Um, right here is saying R-A-J-A-H. And right here they got R-A-J-I-H. But anyway. Um, but they have here last seen the week of June the 20th through the 27th of last year. And she is a mother of two. Um, and I think they said she was last seen in her car at a service station, but she was in the passenger side. Uh, she drove a 2018 Nissan Central. But anyway, um, I'm sending the family much love to you. I pray your loved one will be found no matter what. The family did not ask me to do this reading, okay? You know me. I just do it as a labor of love. Um, a lot of our sisters um, are not getting the attention when it comes to their case. And, um, you know, I will, I'm willing to help anybody, okay? I'm willing to help anybody. But I do know a lot of my sisters are, you know, not getting the attention that they so deserve all right and um media pick and choose whom they want to you know um, advertise okay that's just the way it is all right but there are others like me you know um try to make a difference and we try to get the information out there okay and that's her car right there that's behind her now real quick um I want to read this real quick, okay? It has here, 
Raja McQueen, 27, had just come home from her college, Rosedale Bible College, where she was studying music. And she was last seen during the week of June the 20th through the 27th of 2021. She was last seen in her car, a silver Nissan Central, license number 3GH3953. Her family is very concerned because of a possible abuse relationship. Okay, okay. If you have seen Raja, say something. If you know where she is, say something. All right. Now, just because I'm receiving this information, for those who watch me, you know good and well, you know, uh, I can't help but come out in my readings, okay? It's stated in here, okay, according to her family, that she has been in an abusive relationship, all right? So, whatever comes out, comes out. It's not my opinion. This is a non-judging zone. I'm here just to shed light on the situation. That's what I'm going to do. But her, her, her family already know what time it is, what time it is due to the background. All I want to do is just bring a little clarity um, for the family. Okay, family? So anyway, I'm going to real quick, I'm going to put her picture up here, and I'm going to just start with this reading. I'm going to light one up with my white sage. All right, here's another picture of this sister who's presently missing. Look at that beautiful smile. Much love to her sisters. I believe she's the youngest of six, I believe. I'm going to set her picture right, hold on, I want to make room so I can do what I do, I don't want too much up here, I had to, I had to have room, and I'm going to turn this around so maybe you can see, but don't worry, you will be able to see family, okay, let me just light me something up real quick, and then we'll get this party started. All right. But fam, you know what I mean. I don't mean to get the party started like in a fun way, but you know, so I can just get started. Can you much love and light, sister? Much love and light to you. As the light be shed on this darkness of your disappearance. All right, fam, let's get started. <clears throat> Turn around and get situated. The spirit asking me to use both of these, okay? Um, all I ask family, pay attention to detailed messages. Um, it's like a puzzle. You got to put the pieces together and also pay attention to repeated messages. As I always say, the truth does not change. I don't know everything, but I know what I know. And remember, this is um, allegedly and for entertainment purpose only. I have to say that. So I'm going to start off using... I call this my Wicked Butterfly Revealing Oracle. This is Where Are You in the Present? Just give me an idea of the background setting of far what led up to this sister going missing. All right, I'm setting my attention. I'm seeking clarity. Hold on. A lot of this already turned over. Let me check it. Alrighty. Seeking clarity about disappearance of Raja, I would say Raja again, Raja McQueen, what led to disappearance of Raja McQueen? What happened to you, Raja? What happened to you? What led to your disappearance? I have an ancestor to assist me on your sister here that went missing. So I appreciate it if you hit that like button and get the accurism out there and plus share, 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 especially on, um, Facebook, I really appreciate it because this has been what seven months now, going on eight months, and the sister hasn't been found yet. Okay, it's all about the awareness. 
we all do our part collectively, you know, it makes a difference. I know the sisters and the family will really appreciate it. And I thank you in advance for those who are able-bodied to do it. Holy up to the disappearance of Raja, the queen. Ooh. Uh oh, it's good. Picking up. The cards are going crazy. And let me say this real quick, okay? Um, everybody's innocent until proven guilty. We all know this. But the fact that her background, you know, her family member knows that she has been dealing with abuse, okay, with whomever she was involved with. Um, that's enough as far as red flags. Let me just say that. Like, it's a one of the authorities having, you know, questioned this person, you know, thoroughly. Okay, but I'm going to, I'm through talking. I'm the spirit do the talking. Oh, boy. Because sometimes you think it's one way for it can really end up being another way. Okay, here we go. This is somebody background, okay? This is somebody background that Raja knows, okay? It says, background history, unlawful act, disobedient and resistance to opposition, okay? So somebody has a little background of being a little hard-headed, um, pretty much street smart, um, could possibly be in, could have possibly be in, uh, in and out shall I say, um, being locked up before or, or have had dealings with the law enforcement, okay? But they definitely have a uh, history background of unlawful acts, period, okay? A little hothead. Somebody that the sister knows, okay? It has here has mixed feelings. Somebody has mixed feelings, whether it's Raja. Or the in other individual that's in the know that's a part of this equation. It has here feeling empty, lack of meaning or purpose in life, emotional numbness, feeling of despair and depression. And this is not a good place to be in at all. Okay, uh, when a person get like this, they, they they can be they can get real desperate. And they're also known to want to numb themselves with drugs and alcohol as well, okay? Um, yeah, this can be a really dark place to be in. They, they can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, all right? And I'm not saying it's this sister, okay? But whomever she had encountered was feeling like that. It's like they feel like they have nothing to lose, you know what I'm saying? Or, or nothing to really to live for, for whatever reason, you know. It has here the need to heal and rest. That's someone who has been through a horrific ordeal. I'm feeling stressed out. It has here, yes, being truthful. So, yeah, it's definitely some communication going on here. Some truth was coming out, coming to the light. It has here, waiting on some news or reply from someone. Now, if she waited on news and reply from someone, obviously she knows them. It has here, feeling confused, has a mental disorder that affects mood, thinking, and behavior. We also saw someone who has, uh, was dealing with having mixed feelings as well. And also feeling confused. Let's continue. Okay. It has here moving forward, not looking back. So someone definitely was had made their mind up um whatever they were into or whomever they were seeing, they're trying to move forward, all right, and leave those things behind them or someone. 
knowledgeable and intelligent. According to the spirit, Rachel was very knowledgeable and intelligent. So this sister had a good hit on her shoulder. Someone who has good intentions towards you who see your worth. So I'm sensing that Rage also, not only was she knowledgeable and intelligent, but she was also someone like to see the best or the good in, in, in a person, okay? Even though they might be a little, you know, hard-headed or slightly unbalanced, still she like to see the, you know, the good in people. In denial, refusing to admit the truth or reality. So this is somebody that's pretty much in their heads and don't want to face the truth. It has here a voice responsibility. Somebody is. I know what I want and I'm going for it. So this is like somebody who's not looking back. Okay? Like, like, like this person right here is trying to move forward. Or shall I say finally made up their mind to move forward. Full of distraction, not focus. Now let me say this real quick also. Because it popped up in my spirit also. Either she made up her mind. Because we saw mixed feelings. Either... Rage made up her mind and she decided to move forward from something or someone who is not for her highest good, or she's sticking it out. Okay, or she's sticking it out and hoping for the best. It's one or the other. Mm. Okay. The spirit told me we're complete with this set right here. That was real quick. I'm going to start on another deck. I like to obey the spirit because um, there's no need for me to continue with this deck. So I'm going to start on another one. This one right here is another one of my babies. Okay, this right here is my Wicked Butterfly Revealing Oracle. Alrighty. And I'm going to, I'm seeking clarity as well as confirmation of what has already came out. Okay, just want to go in depth a little more. All right, Razor, tell your story. Good up to your disappearance. You can clarify about the disappearance of Razor McQueen, mother of two, went missing last year in June. Do you know the person? That in, has something to do with you going missing? I'm going to turn this around. Tell your story. What led to your disappearance? The family is seeking clarity. They're seeking answers that they are not getting. Let me just say that. And your family also want confirmation what they already know. Look at that. Phone communication stopped. And I did see a, a little clipping on the news to where one of the sisters said they were trying to call her, right? And I think somebody picked up the phone and uh, hung up or didn't answer, something like that. But anyway, look, phone communication stopped. So this lets me know her phone is either turned off or someone took her phone where well, her phone is not with her. Let me just say that, okay? Either her phone is turned off or her phone is not with her. And her I'm talking about is Rachel, okay? But this is pretty much confirmation anyway, okay? Uh, wherever she is, her phone is not with her. It says phone communication stopped. So if there was any kind of communication, it ended. It has here, this is one is background, temptation, has addiction, drugs, alcohol, or sex addiction. So if she knew this individual, uh, let me see. Sometimes you can be a, 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 a good person. It's a lot of good people, okay? Their futures are very bright, but they attract the wrong kind of people to them. And sometimes we have to see it for what it is. 
It has here seen someone new. It has here, the person will be found, there's hope, okay? So, if her family have to be, happen to be watching, keep the faith, all right? I'll be keeping you all lifted up in prayer. And uh, I pray a loved one will be found, no matter what. It has here, I don't know what this means, motive for money and trade. I don't know what this means, okay? I don't, I don't know if... You know, she had money on her and it was taken from her. Um, or this can be dealing, you know, due to something else, okay? That's sinister motive for money and trade. I'm just going to let the spirit do the talking. Met on social media site. It's a lot of people doing that now, hooking up with people online. Communication with a ex-lover. So did, you know, raise your, you know, hook up with an ex, okay? Or with a boyfriend, it's one of the other. You should hook up with a boyfriend or with an ex. Stranger, or did you know the person? What happened to you, Ranger? Thank you all once again for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for caring enough to click on. It has here the need to say what you mean, feeling vulnerable. I want them to leave me alone dealing with harassment and assault. Hmm. Someone is doing a, oh my God, I hate seeing certain cards. Someone is doing a favor for the other partnership alliance. Mm. It could be possibly two people in the know. Oh boy, it could be possibly two people in the know. One who did the dirt and somebody else is in the know. Somebody could be doing a favor for somebody. Mm, let's keep going. That's the second time we saw that word, the denial. They are in denial. Turns their blind eye to what's going on. Now, we did see the card that uh, spoke from the perspective of seeing someone new. Was Rage seeing someone new? Or did she have a boyfriend and they were seeing someone new? Just saying. Okay, because somebody was communicating with an ex online. Okay? Somebody was communicating with an ex online. Okay? They are scared to speak up due to fear. But her sisters, her sisters knew that she was in an abusive relationship. Okay, whether it's platonic or whatever the case may be, whomever she was seeing, it still was abuse. Okay, and look at this. They got scared to speak up due to fear. Take your mask off, trying to appear different to who you really are. Be the real you. And, the, and this is the Joker big time. The Joker is the person that's a part of this equation, okay? There's a reason why she, she's not around. 
you know, they act one way around you, act another way, you know, when they're not around you, okay? They're pretty much just wearing the mask, pretty much being whatever you want them to be, but that's not truly who they are. They're not genuine. They're not being really, they're not being transparent with you. He had disruption, power struggle, and conflict. Now, let me say this real quick. Anytime I get the card, the head disruption, it's pretty much like the spirit is saying, okay, whomever Raja live with, okay? That would be the head. That would be the head in that household, okay? Now, if she lived by herself, she would be the head. That's causing this causing disruption to herself due to the due to her poor choices and her actions. Okay, as far as how she was moving out here. All right, but if she lived with somebody, whether it could be her boyfriend, you know, it's like the spirit is saying, you know, everything is really starting from whomever the head is. Okay, as far as this um spiraling transaction of struggle and conflict. But I let me be the judge. Okay, I'm just sharing the message. I'm just trying to break down what the, the messages are saying as far as what I'm picking up. Mm. As you see, I'm being transparent. Okay, this is the back. Let the spirit do the talking. Okay. This is someone's background, okay? It says, hole in the soul, childhood wounds, loss of self, disconnection with others, feeling of emptiness, seek approval, praises, recognition to prove you're good enough. And a lot of times a person that's like this, they uh, their background is also dealing with abandonment issues also, okay? You know, people, you know, not everybody, everybody deal with abandonment issues different, but a lot of times people are like this. They can become very possessive, controlling, domineering, just saying, and I'm not seeing that in Roger, okay? Raja. I'm not saying that in her. Whomever she got involved with. See, that's why she's dealing with abuse. Whoever she got involved with, this is them. Okay? The spirit is describing their background. They got a hole in the soul. They're wounded. And they have not healed from it. A lot of times people take that out on the people who closest to them, who care about them. Because she tried to see the, the good in that person, but, you know, sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes love is not enough. You have to really love yourself. Like people, mm, Lord have mercy. It has here moving forward, not looking back, moving on. So it looked like she was trying to move forward. But I want to say a lot of times people take advantage of someone who has a good heart. That's just the point I'm trying to make, okay? They can take advantage of you. It has here, they communicate on social media. If, this, if the spirit's not talking about things that are going on with uh, Raja, as far as her background on social media, it's talking about the background of the, the individual, okay? That's uh, part of this equation. Look at that. Look at that. I can't make this up. Not happy. In the situation, I want out. You can't blame her. She wants out. Stop dealing with freak control freak. The need to travel and get away. Now, this is not how she was feeling. That person got missing. Please know that. But she has two children. Uh, I don't sense that she walked away from her children. Fight, not happy at home. Unbalanced lack of harmony. I told you the head. And even if she was living by herself, if she had a boyfriend, and the boyfriend still coming over, the spirit would still consider him the head because he's the male. <sighs> Deadly heated fight.
film we are completed with this deck. Okay, as you see, there were plenty of messages that could have came out. You see that? There were plenty of messages that could have came out, but they did not. Pretty much only certain messages the spirit would have wanted to be seen. Okay? See that? So I got here holding a soul, moving forward, not looking back. They communicate on social media, something about social media. Um, not happy in the situation. We also see we also saw that somebody wanted out and they, they want to move forward okay the need to travel to get away fight not happy at home unbalanced like a army and deadly heated fight and i think i heard something about her cowards fam family um just type her name in on youtube or google it uh, it will come up just type in um missing Raja, R-A-J-A-H, McQueen, and, you know, you can get the additional information, mother of two. But I think they found her car. But, no, she wasn't in it. Mm. And this happened in Cleveland. All right. Okay. I'm going to use this real quick, and then I'm going to do one more deck. I'm going to end this reading, okay? This right here is the um, Divine Shadow Self Oracle um, deck, and it pretty much, um, shout out to Divine Vision, it pretty much speaks of those shadow aspects of the individual, the energy that are around them. And anytime you hear the word shadow, you know it's not good, okay? <laughs> you know it's not good, but anyway, uh, it can tell you a lot about, you know, um, it can really tell you the story as far as, you know, what led to the disappearance of a person or what happened to them by just listen to the, by just listen, looking at the key words, okay? So anyway, give me a minute. I'm going to use this and do one more deck and I'm going to end this reading. I'm just trying to help the family out. Be happy to um, see this video, get them some clarity. <clears throat> Seeking the shadow aspect of what led up to the disappearance of Razor McQueen. Seeking clarity, seeking clarity, and a shadow aspect of what led up to the disappearance of Razor McQueen. Okay, the spirit told me to stop. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this. The first card is desperation. Make sure that's right. Desperation is how somebody was feeling. Whether it was Raja or the individual that was around her, it has here passive aggression. It has here mm, mm, entanglement. Yeah, entanglement. We all know what that is, okay? It can mean many, many things, but it's pretty much a complicated, difficult relationship, a toxic relationship, okay? And also, it can be a third party, meaning Raja, the boyfriend, and another female could be involved, all right? Or two males, that's how you look at it. Whether it's Raja seeing somebody or she met somebody else, okay? That's how you look at it. But entanglement is entanglement. It's pretty much a complicated, toxic relationship. I'm going to sit this here. I'm getting in my way. Internalizing, taking things in. Blindsided. Raja did not see it coming. She was blindsided. Awkward. This is how a person see themselves. It's being awkward. And withdrawn. So you can say a lot of this is Raja. And also, a lot of this is the energy that were around her on that day she went missing of uh, the other individual who is involved, okay? It's pretty much setting the scene. You can get an idea what's going on, okay? Excuse me. All righty. Bitterness. Boredom. This is one who's longing for change. Doubtful. 
antagonists. Some of you gonna have to Google the family, all right? Uh, hostilities towards someone, okay? Antisocial. So this is someone who, who's not around a lot of people, okay? They're pretty much uh, to themselves. Greed. And we did see something about motive, something about money. Drained. It's someone who feels emotionally drained. And let me say this real quick. I'm not trying to um, throw nobody up under the bus as far as whomever she was seeing because a lot of times, you know, when the people, you know, who check out couples and they know the background scenario as far as she's been known to be abused, you know, I'm just saying allegedly she could have been seeing somebody else. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people can take stuff like that when they, when they know your background, but people do talk. And, um, People take advantage of people like that, and they can do things to them. And then people be having a boyfriend did it, when really the, the, the other person did it. But I'm just saying, sometimes, you know, the situation is not what we think it is, but it can be that way. But you have, but you have to look at it from a broader perspective. But that's just me talking. I'm just spirit people talking, okay, family? Because just when I think the reading is going one way, I start seeing other energies that are involved. But um, I'm just spirit people talking. I'm not going to try to add to it, but I do have my own opinion, but I, I go by being led by the spirit. Just pay attention to repeated messages that you've seen in the other reading. It has here bullying. Remember, we saw the car. I want them to leave me alone. Look at that bully. So who was bullying her? Who was harassing her? Look at that bully. Somebody who's been a bully. Remember we saw this right here? Empty. Okay, it's not Raja. It's how somebody was feeling empty, tapped out, regret. A shame. Remember we saw temptation and addiction? Temptation played a part. Somebody was tempted and he acted on it. Ego bound. Distraction. We saw that earlier. Someone distracting her where she wasn't able to be focused. She couldn't see it coming. Couldn't see it coming. Yep, yep. Let me see something. Yeah. I think I did everything already. Let me see the one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, that's right. So I'm already getting seeing an idea already, family. Um, whomever she met up with, uh, she didn't see it coming. She was blindsided. And um, the person was already tempted already to do what they were planning on doing to her, okay? But I'm trying to get an idea about this money factor, okay? So anyway, um, let's, let's continue. Oops. Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry, family. I'm going to put this back in here. If it's meant to come back out, it will. I didn't know the words were showing. Let me shuffle real quick. This sister is all about transparency, honey. Making sure ain't nothing showing. Spirit told me to stop. We're gonna stop. That's something. That darn word came right back out. <laughs> mm, I tell you one thing. 
Somebody snapped. They snapped big time. We have here drowning. This is someone who's drowning their emotions. Betrayal is somebody she knows. Abuse. This is confirmation. Her sister said that uh, she was in an abusive relationship. Okay. Defensive. This is how somebody was feeling. Flighty. Okay. Somebody quick to pop off. Easily. Someone who easily to get upset. Look at that. Rage. I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted some money from her. I'm serious. I don't know. I don't know if she's known for giving people money, but mm. manipulation. I'm, yeah. Manipulation. Uh, she like she had her her shit together. I'm just saying. I mean, you don't go by looks, but that's the vibe I'm getting from this sister. She like she, she like she wanted something out of life, but sometimes we can still, you know, draw the wrong people to us. Also, get involved with the wrong joker. And they get with you to use you, and don't see your worth. Insecurities. Arrogance. Numbness. This is how an individual feel. A lot of times people feel like this after they, done, after they done did the do. You know, don't hurt somebody. They feel numb. Or you can feel like this if you've been abused also. You're just in a state of shock and feeling some type of way. Evasive. Someone who avoids commitment. Somebody does. Addictions. We saw this already. The person has addiction, whether it's drugs, alcohol. You know, it, it can be, you know, smoking pot. Some people have an addiction to that. You know, they don't know how to stop. Or it can be a worker, you know, workaholic, but addictions are addictions. Flighty. I think we should, I think we should, uh I showed this already. Easily upset. Uh closed off. Okay. Now let's get this card right here. This can let me know that she could possibly could possibly be, be by herself closed off somewhere, okay? Or this can let you know a person is withdrawn, all right. You know that they don't want to be bothered. Um, argumentative. I'm going to do one more. Let me, let me turn this around. And look, this is on the back part. Hell, hostage. But that's a big time allegedly, okay? Victim, according to the spirit, rage as a victim. It doesn't mean she deceased now, but according to the spirit, she's a victim. Jealousy. Aloof. This is someone who's distant, okay? Detached and not friendly. We're dealing with a dark individual, or you can say that rage is somewhere in the dark. Envy. Someone envious of her. Emotional blackmail. Manipulation. Okay. Well, maybe you know what that is, all right? Just trying to manipulate somebody mentally. I call it mind effing somebody. That's what I call it. Okay. Hostility.
Spirit told me not complete the shuffle. Coercion, someone using threats, um, using um, force or threats to get you to, you know, do something that you really don't want to do, okay? Using force or threats. Code, you can say that um, Raja, so, Raja, Raja, I'm so sorry, I don't know I keep saying Raja. Rage is somewhere, you know, alone and cold, okay? Or you can say we're dealing with a cold individual. It can be both. Domineering. I told you, a control freak. I told you. When I see certain cards, I know what I'm dealing with. I know what I'm looking at. This is the one that has experienced humiliation. Disagreeable. And someone being secretive. And I'm sure her sisters, they know more than what they're saying. Um, but they did put it out there that um, their sister was in an abusive relationship, okay? <clears throat> Now, spiritual, we are complete, so I'm going to go ahead and share this. Absent-minded. That's the one who's not focused. Remember, spirit said uh, she was being very distracted, okay? Gossip. People are talking. There's some people that are in the know behind the scenes. A lot of gossip going on, okay, about this sister and, and uh, what's going on with this case. Okay, people are talking. It has here ghosting. When I get this card, I think about someone, you know, inviting you. You're supposed to meet with somebody and they don't show up. Or they don't show up, somebody else is showing up. Okay? But anyway, um, ghosting. Someone leaving you high and dry for, for the most part. Rejection. And we did see the card that was saying that she was trying to move forward. Okay? But somebody is feeling rejection. Burdens. I'm going to deal with burdens. Guilt. And we know this already because we saw this behind it. That's deception. And, and what was before that one was secretive. Okay. I hate that this sister, who picture was so bright, hooked up with the wrong joker. Uh, it happens, oh family. Oh my gosh, it happens. Mm. Cause I'm all about energy. Your energy ain't right. You, you would not be in my inner circle. I would not fool with you. Period. All right, family. I'm gonna go ahead on and start on one more deck. I'm gonna end this reading. Cause. When I use this deck right here, it gives you a general idea of what was going on behind the scenes, okay? Uh, we, we saw the entanglement, entanglement, and then we saw the card that spoke about how a person is not committed, you know? So, I mean, you see I read what this is what dealing with, okay? But she's someone who likes to see the best in people. But sometimes, you know, they, they can throw us off if we're not using our intuition. Your intuition will really protect you. That's why we can't go by what we think. We got to go by what we know. And one thing she knew, she knew she was in an abusive relationship with someone who did not honor her and nor respect her. So let me see. I grabbed this by, and I need to get confirmation. Okay.
Okay, Spirit said I can use it. This is one of my little homemade decks, okay, that I made. All right, I'm going to use this, one of my homemade crime decks. I like to make my own card because I put my own energy in it, okay? And they are just to the point. Okay, seeking clarity about rage of disappearance. I knew that was going to happen. Hold on, family. Okay. Seeking clarity about rage of disappearance. Seeking additional clarity about rage of disappearance. I call up for my ancestors to assist me. Hold on, family. Hold on. All right. I had to pause real quick. Um, my mom came in and asked me a question. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to shuffle this one more time. I'm about thinking I'm trying to uh, set these cards in a certain order. Oh, no, no, no. I'm all about transparency, family. I'm all about transparency. So anyway, these two already came down. I'm going to go back over it again. So can, oh, my gosh. I need a spirit so strong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. Okay. Let's do this again, okay? Okay, so you can clear it out. You know what, family? I tell you what. I'm going to do half, okay? I'm going to do half. I'm going to do half. I'm just too thick. Seeking, seeking clarity for the disappearance of Raja. I love your disappearance. Tell your story. Now, one card I'm not going to show out of respect for the family. Uh, I really don't want to say yay or nay, whether she's alive with us or not. But I will just be due to talking. But um, some of my cards can be very, very, very graphic, okay? And I want to honor this sister and respect her, okay? Uh, I don't know her, but, you know, I'm all about karma, okay? And I am all for women empowerment, okay? And like I said, with us love, there is no competition, and I'm here to bring the light and the love, okay? I'm not trying to throw nobody up on the bus in a negative light. And that's just me, okay? I, I know I feel good when I'm in my, in my readings. So I just want to do things decent in order. But anyway, um, one card I'm not going to show. I'm going to put that up in here. Okay. It has here, drug dealer. Okay, someone that's... This is someone, this is someone's background, all right? This is someone's background. The rage could have been associated with, okay? I can't make this up. Can y'all see it? I'm going to read it. I apologize for the glare. It says, partners do not respect each other's independence and decisions, okay? And it doesn't have to be both of them. One could not respect. The other's independence, okay, or decisions. It has here being exposed. We did see the truth card. That speaks about communication and someone is calling somebody out. Um, this is a big time allegedly, okay. It stays hidden within the neighborhood, but which neighborhood? That is the question. It has here. Mm, and we did see the moving on card, didn't we, family? If I can't have you, no one can. Very obsessed. Very obsessed. It looks like to me, her family already know who, who, who took her. I wonder how come the Thorges not own it. Look at that. Confirmation. 
What I tell you is over. Leave me alone. The spirit be on it. Oh, we saw the moving on card twice. Okay? She finally made her mind up. She's ready to move on. Okay. Okay. This is allegedly. But this sister case has been, what, going on eight months? And I'm not going to say it's going cold, but still no Rachel. Okay? Uh, the spirit is revealing this. This is not my opinion. This is not my opinion. But let me tell you this. You don't know who people know, all right, that can protect them. That's all I'm saying. It has here a police force, in this case, are crooked. Cover up evidence. Whatever that means, okay? It doesn't mean the whole police force, but something ain't right. Something ain't right. And this can easily be a rabbit hole. Because you don't know who knows people. That's all I'm saying. And then I see stuff like this. They have connections. Please know that. They do have connections. All right. And we did see this right here, didn't we? Being exposed. Somebody found out about somebody. Exposing them. And then we saw Partnership Alliance. Okay, you're looking at, you're looking at I see it too, but you're looking at anywhere from two to three people that could be in the know that's helping cover up somebody, whether they pay them off or they're doing a favor for the other. And all this is allegedly, but I'm going by what I'm seeing is free. Doesn't look good at all. Does not look good. Let me see this one. Uh, this card came right back out. I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. I think about it. <clears throat> it's really no, no, no disrespect to the sister. It's just that um, I don't really want to put out yeah, your neighbor, the person is alive or not. You know, I like I like for things to play out. <coughs> but anyway. Okay. I'm going to show you what I have. This is what she was desiring, adventure and change. She wanted change. We did see the boredom card, okay? She was longing for change. Let me put my um, deck right here so y'all can see it. She was longing for change. Mm. Feels helpless. According to the spirit, Raja was a, was a uh, peacemaker, okay? She wasn't someone that would run her feet to evil. She was a peacemaker. Okay. All right, according to the spirit, this is today is what? Uh February the twenty seventh, I believe. So according to the spirit, events are moving fast behind the scenes. So it seems like the case is starting to pick up some, okay? Um uh, her loved one should be um hearing something, okay? Because something better than nothing about the case. Hold on. Yep. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. Lovers fight deadly. Lovers fight deadly. And it has here father. Who father? Raja has two children. She has two boys. Is it their father? All I know is father popping up, whatever that means. And we didn't see something about an ex. So, uh, you know. Um, this is allegedly. Okay, that's allegedly. It has here buried underground, not far from home. But it's allegedly. And see, it's the little things that I look for in the messages. A lot of times it's key words. She might not be buried underground. But the key, but what stands out to me is she's not far from home. See that? Not far from home. 
okay? And if many of you see anything in here that knows her, whether it be her loved one, the family, you see something that you don't like, just don't receive it, okay? That's all. Just don't receive it. But these messages come out for a reason. Now, she might not be buried, but according to the spirit, she's not that far from home either, all right? Now, according to the spirit, we are complete with this deck, okay? We are complete. We start on the last one because I had cut these dicks in half. Okay, and here is the last one. Here's the last one. Oh boy, beautiful razor, my sister. Tell your story. You can clear it about your different parents. Anything that you want your loved ones to know, family and close friends who love you, your family seeking answers. Anything you want them to know. Oh, my spirit guides to make it a razor. Spirit guides and clarity about her different things. Spirit told me to stop. I feel my see when I see something when I see something that I don't like um my spirit wants me to put this card out so bad Ugh. okay we have here ease something about ease okay Something about ease, whatever that means. We have here, this is how uh, Rachel was feeling about herself, okay? She got. She finally got to this point right here. That's why she was getting to that place of moving forward. It has here, they have embraced inner peace and self-love. It has here, unlawful force or threats took property. And she is the ultimate pro property, okay? This is someone's loved one. Somebody took her, okay? It's just a, well, I ain't going to go through all that. Uh, check back rose wooded area. And I'm not from Cleveland, so I, I, I can't even break it down with it to anybody to check and tell you the truth. I feel like I'm getting missed messages, but I will say this. You have to pay attention a lot of time to the key words that pops up. Okay, family? Now, it has here, they are a live brainwash cult. Okay? Now, could she, Razor be alive? Absolutely. But it has here also brainwash. Okay? We know when the person's brainwashed, somebody has really got them here in the head. Okay? We did see manipulation, and we also saw emotional blackmail, okay? Um, I'm just going to let this sit here, okay? Because this is very positive still to me. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to hope and pray that she will be found no matter what and definitely found alive, okay? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just praying that she's hidden somewhere. Somebody have her hidden somewhere, and, and, and they don't want to let her go. But eventually she will, you know, be freed. But also, get, sometimes you have to look at the key word. It came out for a reason. It says brainwash also and something about cults, okay? And cults can just be pretty much a group. Uh, people can be into a lot of, you know, groups, okay? Um, gangs type of thing, okay? So I'm just going to leave that there. The spirit wanted that to come out for a reason, all right? It has here, they took the bait. 
But also it is said that she was blindsided as well. And it has this, okay? I wasn't going to show it, but it came out, okay? I was not going to show it, but it did come out. And that's all of this is allegedly, okay? But there, there is some truth in my reading. Please know that. And there, and also their timeline. So that means none of this is in divine order. Okay, none of this is in divine order. Okay, this is confirmation again. Someone has, uh, someone has a history of being arrested. Okay, they're into a lot of illegal things, illegal activities. It has here the person of interest. The uh the Joker has a mental illness. Okay, the spirits calling him a fool. Now we did see East. This right here is saying Southeast. So like she was moved around, or there's some traveling involved. Okay, it has here Southeast. We saw East, and this is Southeast. And the person could have like a mental type thing going on, a chemical. It has here schizophrenia. Okay. And it has here, um, okay. It has here to have freedom, to have fun. And I get a card like this, it speaks about someone uh, wants to uh, go out and have fun. Maybe some drinking or just socializing with friends or whomever that, um, whomever that they are involved with, okay? This speaks about getting out and having fun, period. And I truly believe that was her intentions, but things did not turn out that way. And it has here, what you won't do for love. We all know the words to that song. And it has here, poor judgment. Okay. I was worried about that car because it's like the energy wasn't that strong when I pulled it. Okay. I might go around one more time and that's it. It has here, feels obligated that you owe someone something for what they did for you. So somebody feels obligated and doing a favor for somebody else. Okay. This is allegedly, okay? I'm just sharing it. This is allegedly. But it will be found as remains. It has here, they are being set up, but we know this already. But she was blindsided. I feel like whomever she hooked up with, the other person had a, a whole lot of intention. You know, they had a whole lot of agenda. She didn't really know them as well as she thought she did. And the fact that we're seeing, you know, moving on and rejection, you know, they, they, they pretty much, you know, saying, well, okay, if I can't have you, can nobody else ha have you? And um, just set her up for failure, you know, if you know what I mean. I mean, they pretty much just set her up um, to take her out. Or could, or could possibly, she could have been sold, one or the other. But somebody want revenge, period. A desire for revenge, thinking only of oneself, sitting back in the shadows, gloating. You see how the timeline is? Ran away, they took off. So obviously she was trying to run from the person. Okay, she was trying to run from them. But we did, well, we saw cults. So when I, when I think about that word right there, I think about groups, okay? Uh, there are, are, are other people in the know that could have possibly been around. Look at that. Obsessed with them. Just don't want to let her go. I don't know what this means. 
truck rest stop area. Somebody may have seen something. I don't know what this means. Go around one more time. I'm going to end this reading. Okay, so look. There's two cards I'm going to put here. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, you're supposed to done all that she can do. All right, of course, your spirit. Uh, Raja is known for having wisdom, okay? Or sometimes we can let our guards down. It has here. Mm. Only her family would know this. It has here a pregnant. So we look at, look at what? Well, I, I want to say eight weeks, but this was way back in what? Um, seven months ago, going on eight months. So anyway, only her loved one would know this if they knew about it. It has here a pregnant. Uh, this was the world 27 years old. Oh. Uh, It has here open landfill body, okay? But it could be the location where she could be at, like an open landfill space, okay? All that is allegedly. Um, it has here someone's background, play sports, whatever that means, okay? Probably their background when they, when they once was in school, they played sports. The first car was mother. And I was like, what, what do this mean, <laughs> okay? But even I saw this right here, it made sense to me. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Somebody was pregnant. It has her mother. And on top of that, saying something about court order, okay? We did see the card say father. So maybe these are just backgrounds as far as what was going on with the sister, okay? Something about court order, whatever that means, okay? It has here work slash job co-workers, okay? Question work slash job co-workers. Somebody could be in the know. Maybe she's spoken to somebody about things that was going on with her. And lastly, let me see. Um, this is popping back up again. Talking about met online. Met online, Facebook, check, phone, or computers. But unfortunately, her phone was not. Her phone um did not. Her phone was with her, but, you know, her sister are not able to contact her because uh, she's not answering. And it has here, addiction was a factor, okay? Addiction was a factor. And when it comes to addictions, you know, all kind of addictions. Oh, you got sex addictions. You know, you got all kind of sex addictions. But anyway, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, look at that. So we have here something about East. So there was definitely some movement. And it looked like she was also moved. And then we have here South East. Okay, whatever that means. Okay. So anyway, um, all of this is allegedly. Uh, I'm sending her family, my love. Uh, I'm praying loved one will be found. According to the spirit, things will start picking up. So hopefully from now, anywhere from now to three weeks, hopefully. Um, her loved one should hear something, okay, about their loved one, um, whereabouts, just get some kind of news, cause, I mean, though that family member, you know, they're desperate, and you can't blame them, I, I wish it on nobody, I wish it on nobody, but, um, this is my reading on 27-year-old Cleveland woman, Raja McQueen, mother of two, from Cleveland, Ohio, um, I'm sending her sisters, her family, my love. And I did it as a labor of love. They did not ask me to do this. So, but I'm sure that they appreciate it. You know, um, at least somebody cares. It's about getting the awareness out there. 
So any of my other brothers and sisters who have to get by the spirit, and if you have YouTube, okay, collectively, when we come together, okay, you know, okay, um, yes, indeed, uh, the spirit does the talking, and um, a lot of these messages, they pretty much repeat themselves, but a lot of times, you know, things that I speak about, you know, a lot, a lot of it will repeat on their channels also, but a lot of, a lot of it won't repeat. It's like a puzzle. We got to put the pieces together. That's what it's all about. Okay. Everybody do differently on their own channel. But, you know, I celebrate my sisters who are putting the work in and who are making a difference by sowing speed, doing what I do. Okay. And that's, you know, being my sister's keeper, my brother's keeper, um, trying to expose darkness and bring awareness to our sisters and our brothers who um, go missing. Okay. Being a voice to the voiceless. That's what it's all about. Okay, so thank you, family. Thank you for your love supporting my channel. This is my reading on 27-year-old Roger McQueen from Cleveland. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up. Get the algorithm out there, family. For any personal uh, reading requests, uh, check out the um, description section. It will be up there. Other than that, thank you for watching, and bye for now.